I called my dad up and I asked him for the Hulu password. And he goes, uh, no. <laughs> Not over the phone. <laughs> Not the Hulu password? Not the Hulu password. No, you never know who's listening. You, you think a hacker wants to watch Shrek with commercials that badly <laughs> that they're hacking your phone conversations. I don't know how much spy equipment costs. I'm pretty sure it's more than $5.99 a month. No hacker wants to listen to my parents' phone conversation. No one's that concerned about how the cats are doing that they're hacking my parents' phone. They're just like, why are we on speaker? <laughs> But that's how old men are. Old men are very protective of their information. My father-in-law won't give me his Wi-Fi password. My father-in-law. It was easier to marry this man's daughter than to get the Wi-Fi password. To this day, if my computer forgets the network, he will pull my computer aside, turn his shoulder, and type it in one by one if he can find his little book. That's the old guy security system. Tiny book, tiny writing, that book, always lost. Tiny book, tiny writing, open the front door, just chuck it inside. No one's getting this password, not even me. I just don't know why old guys are so protective of their information. I'm not like that. I don't know if it's a generational thing or what it is, but I'm like, I've realized that if you want my social security number, all you got to do is ask twice. <laughs> That's it. You know, like when you're at the dentist and you have to fill out the form and they're like social security number. Every time I get that, I'm like, Ugh, I don't want to. And I go to the desk and I go, yeah, I don't want it. They're like, we really need it. I'm like, all right, well, <laughs> yeah. Ryan, why is your identity stolen? Well, they said they really needed it. Uh, I don't know. I had such bad insurance in my 20s that my social security number is everywhere in Brooklyn. It is just everywhere. Like, I went to so many dentists in my 20s. At one point, I didn't even go to the dentist. I walked in, and then immediately I walked out because I got there, and the dentist was wearing jeans. <laughs> It's like, look, dude, I know my insurance is bad. Could you at least pretend to be a real doctor? <laughs> like, jeans at the dentist? Like, what? I'm here for medical treatment, not advice on a used motorcycle. What are we doing here? It wasn't slacks, it wasn't khakis, it wasn't even cargo shorts where I could be like, oh, that's, maybe that's where he keeps his little tools, is in the pocket. <laughs> no, he goes, what's up? You can call me Dan. Absolutely not. <laughs> not Dr. Dan. Not Dan the dentist, just Dan. Sorry, Dan, I'm not going to a dentist that looks like he uses the phrase, my bad. <laughs> no, thank you. Not interested. 